Well, welcome back and thanks for joining us. It was a decent day around the state. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highs we observed today. 56 for Jordan, so pretty warm in the eastern part of the state there. 42 in Glasgow, 53 in Lewistown, 44 for our friends in Haver, 54 here in Great Falls and 48 up in Cupbank. Now the Almanac for this time of year, average high is 42 here in Great Falls, average low 23, uh, tw negative 25 set back way in 1903, so quite a while ago and 67 only back in 2008 uh, for our record high. Currently we're at 39 in Haver, we finally got out of the 30s up there. We've been stuck in the, in, in the 30s for quite a while. Our high today was quite a bit warmer. 45 currently in Lewistown, 46 in Great Falls, and 42 in Cupbank. Looking further east, 38 for our friends up in Glasgow. Now our sustained wind gusts right now, not too bad. 13 in Haver, 7 in Lewistown, 15 here in Great Falls, and 14 in Cupbank. Looking at our current feels like, uh, conditions 31 in Haver, 41 in Lewistown, 39 here in Great Falls, and 35 in Cupbank, 33 for our friends up in Glasgow. Our max sustained wind gusts today, 26 in Billings, 28 in Bozeman, 39 in Great Falls, and as per usual, Cupbank 44 was our max uh, highest wind gust that we could see on the map there currently. Now, not a whole lot going on on our radar loop. That is going to change as the night goes on. We do have a few showers into southeastern Montana. We'll take a look at that here. Uh, Right now, actually, Glendive, Mile City, seeing some rain showers there, but uh, we do have a winter weather advisory, so we'll see some increased precipitation on that radar as we head through the evening. This winter weather advisory is actually mainly for ice, uh, as we do have the chance of a tenth of an inch of ice to form on surfaces in northeastern Montana. This winter weather advisory along the Rocky Mountain front for the northern and southern Rocky Mountain front is up for up to seven inches of snow. So Mariah's Pass along Highway 2 conditions could get pretty dicey if you're traveling uh, through that area and that goes through 11 in the morning and here's why our future track shows uh, this system causing this mixed precipitation up in northeastern Montana. You can see along Highway 2 near Cup Bank in Kalispell there that you have that snowfall uh, that could create some issues. And then as we go throughout the period, it's mainly just going to be cloudy with a few isolated uh, higher elevation snow showers and then clearing out by Friday. Our wind gust tracker 5 to 10 as we head into uh, the evening hours right around now. But those are going to pick up as we head through Thursday morning. Uh, 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts in Great Falls, 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts elsewhere. And then hopefully as we head into Thursday night, those will die off a little bit more. For our lows tonight, 28 in Glasgow, 33 in Jordan, 31 in Hayes, 27 up in Haver, and freezing for a cup bank. And for Gray Falls, our highs tomorrow, cooler with this cold front moving through, 38 in Haver, 40 in Hayes, 42 in Glasgow, a little bit warmer in Jordan at 49. Taking a look at our seven-day forecast, mostly sunny the next couple of days with some winds in the forecast. Uh, that's going to change as we head into Monday and Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies warming up a bit on Tuesday. Then Wednesday we cool back down with our next system and we'll be watching that as we head into our travel uh, season or our travel days for Thanksgiving. Lows will be in the mid-20s to near freezing towards the end of the week uh, and again we'll be watching out on Wednesday. Tim.